Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today we're talking about avocados. I recently did a video sharing some really good healthy breakfast foods and one of those foods involved avocados and I asked you in that video if you would be interested in a dedicated video all about how to use avocados in a healthy way and so many of you commented on that video and said yes, 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 give us all the avocado ideas. So I am here today to share with you 23 ways to use avocado. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to all of my favorite health healthy things are also down in that description box. So let's jump into 23 ways to use the good healthy avocado. Avocados can be added to so many meals and recipes to give you that big healthy fats and nutritional boost. Just one ounce of avocado, and I usually eat more than that, provides a fantastic amount of healthy fats, protein, and fiber. Avocados also help in heart health, aging, and weight control. So here are 23 easy ways for you to incorporate a little bit more avocado into your life. Number one is season those avocados. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, some of your favorite seasoning. You can even drizzle over a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice to really add some spice to the avocado. There are a lot of times that I'll just slice up an avocado, season it, and eat it as a side to my meal. You can try stuffing avocados. This is a great way to incorporate avocado into your breakfast. Fill half of an avocado with one egg bake it in your oven for 15 minutes at about 425 degrees or until the white of the egg is fully set. Then you can add yummy things like crumbled up bacon, feta cheese, salt and pepper, and lots of seasonings. You can also replace the egg in the avocado with things like tuna fish, canned chicken, vegetables, and even fruits. The possibilities are endless. Number three is incorporate avocado into your scrambled eggs. This is one of my favorite things to do. The avocado adds a really nice texture texture to the scrambled eggs. Make sure your eggs are cooked about halfway through and then add in your avocado and scramble that in with your eggs. And like I said, it just adds a ton of texture and flavor. Number four is on toast. Good old avocado toast. This again is one of my favorite ways to utilize the avocado. Toast up your favorite bread, pita bread, wrap, spread that avocado on top, season it up, and you can add really anything to that. Eggs, ham, bacon. You can make countless types of avocado toast and it's a well-rounded breakfast. You have protein, healthy fats, fiber, and carbohydrates. Number five is to make it into guacamole. Again, one of my favorite ways to utilize avocados. I love guacamole. I sub this as a spread on so many things. I skip a lot of the other condiments and I'll use guacamole as my spread. Not to mention it's amazing to dip chips and salsa and guacamole. Add this to meals, especially with the Mexican flavor guacamole 10 out of 10 to use avocado number six is as a substitute for mayo I also do this quite regularly mayo can be really high in calories really high in fat and if you just smash up avocado in place of mayo it gives your tuna fish or your chicken salad that same consistency but it adds all of those healthy fats fiber and protein and much less calories and just a better option for the condiment mixed into things number seven is adding avocado to your salad this is another one of the things I love to do. Whether I slice the avocado up and add it to my salad or dice it up, it adds really good texture with the crispiness of the lettuce. You can add things like bacon and feta cheese and goat cheese and lots of delicious seasonings and veggies to your salad and then top it with some avocado just to finish it off for a healthy meal. Number eight is to add avocado into your soups. This is a great way to utilize avocado. It can be the main ingredient of some soups, but it can also be used diced up in soups. Again, to add in those vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that come in an avocado. And the avocado as the base of a soup will make it nice and creamy. So you can avoid high calorie things like whole milk and heavy cream, 
by just incorporating avocado. You can find so many avocado soup recipes online that can be served both warm and chilled. Number nine is you can use avocados as a sour cream substitute. So if you want to skip the sour cream because it doesn't have a lot of nutritional value and you want to incorporate an avocado, it's very simple to make a faux sour cream with your avocado. Take two avocados, the juice of two limes, two tablespoons water, two tablespoons oil of your choice, either olive oil or avocado oil, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, whisk that together, and you have the consistency of sour cream using avocados. So it's a great substitution, especially if you struggle with dairy, you can use this in place of sour cream. Number 10 is in sushi. You see avocado used a lot in sushi, whether it's on the outside of the roll or incorporated on the inside of the roll. So the next time that you're at a sushi restaurant, make sure you're choosing one with good, healthy ingredients. Stay away from those calorie-ridden sauces and fried sushi rolls, and make sure that there's a little slice of avocado in every bite. Number 11 is grilled. Did you know you could grill avocado? It actually makes a fantastic healthy side dish. Simply cut your avocado in half, remove the pit, drizzle over some seasonings as well as some lemon juice, place it face down on your grill, and let it cook. It adds that nice char to the outside of the avocado and really enhances the flavor. Slice it up, add it as the side dish to your favorite summer bar barbecue meal. Number 12 is you can pickle avocado. Now this is something I have honestly never thought of doing. You can use pickled avocados in any dish that you would use normal avocado. So whether you're adding that to your salad, your sandwich, or your soup, you can use the pickled version. To pickle avocado, use one cup of white vinegar, one cup of water, and one tablespoon of salt. Add that to a pan and bring it to a boil. Then add that mixture to a jar with about three unripe, that's the key word, unripe avocados. Cover them with a lid or some ceramic wrap and allow them to sit for a few days and voila you have pickled avocados number 13 as fries now this is something I've heard about but I've never tried and it has me intrigued they can be popped into your air fryer or baked in your oven slice them into fry shapes and enjoy them with different sauces add some salt and pepper dip them in ketchup they can make a healthier substitution for really that carb filled french fry number 14 is as a topping and the first thing that comes to mind is pizza avocado on pizza is so so good. Whether you make it at home or order in, take your slice, put some avocado on it, and you, it's a huge game changer for the texture and the taste of pizza. You can also use it on nachos, tacos, really anything that you can slice or dice up an avocado on. Number 15 is in smoothies. This is actually one of my favorite ways to use avocado. You do not taste it at all. So if you're someone that doesn't love the taste or texture of avocado, throw it in your smoothie. All it's going to do is blend up and make your smoothie this creamy, delicious consistency, and I promise you will not taste it. Number 16 is as an ice cream. There's an ice cream out on the market using avocado. I think it might even be called Cotto Cream. I'll go ahead and pop a picture in here for you. It's delicious, by the way. And you can use ice cream. You can use avocado again in ice cream for that creaminess, kind of what happens with the smoothie. Avocado, lime juice, milk, and sugar can make an amazing homemade healthy ice cream. Number 17 is incorporated into a salad dressing. You can blend the avocado up to more of a paste-like consistency and add it into a salad dressing. One of my favorite go-tos to make at home is balsamic vinegar, oil, salt, and pepper, and then add in that avocado. You're getting all of the nutrients, protein, fiber, and healthy fats, and you're making your dressing at home, avoiding a lot of artificial ingredients and chemicals. So use avocado even in dressing. Number 18 may come as a little bit of a surprise, but you can use avocado in so many desserts besides ice cream. Use it in place of butter. Two tablespoons of avocado, 30 grams, has only about 48 calories versus two tablespoons of butter having about 200 calories. So using avocado in place place of butter, again for the creaminess, can be a calorie saver as well as a nutrient dense option. You can use avocado in things like cakes, cookies, brownies, breads, and even pudding. You can camouflage the green color, especially if you're making a chocolate dessert by using a cocoa powder. You won't even see that tinge of green from the avocado, but it can make a fantastic butter replacement. Number 19 is in bread. So kind of back to baking with avocado. Making avocado bread is delicious and super easy easy and again packed with much more nutrient value than using butter or other agents in bread. Make your favorite banana bread using avocados instead of bananas or keep the bananas, add in some cocoa powder and some avocado. It makes bread nice and moist and delicious and packed with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. Number 20 is make hummus out of avocado. 
avocado, chickpeas, olive oil, and tahini. Mix that up and you have an avocado based hummus. Chickpeas are an excellent source of protein and fiber. Avocado is an excellent source of protein, fiber, and healthy fats, and tahini and olive oil provide monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which are healthy fats. Number 21 is in pasta sauces. Now this again is something I would have never thought of. It can make a creamy, delicious avocado pasta sauce. Vegetables that go really well in this sauce if you wanna really up your vegetable game are things like tomatoes and corn. They pair really well with avocados. You can also add a spin on your favorite mac and cheese recipe by incorporating some avocado as well. Avocado pairs great with pasta. Number 22 are in pancakes. Who'd have thought? Pancakes are high in carbs, but by adding in avocado, we're adding in healthy fats, fiber, and protein along with those carbohydrates. These pancakes can have a green, creamy consistency to them. Don't let them throw you off. Don't let that throw you off because honestly, you won't taste the avocado. It's just going to add a creaminess to your pancake. You can also add some fruit to really boost the nutritional value. And number 23 is to incorporate avocado in beverages. Did you know avocado can be used to make lots of cocktails, margaritas, daiquiri? Even though they're all made differently, they still have that overall creamy consistency that you can get by incorporating avocado. And if you're someone who doesn't drink alcohol, omit the alcohol and still enjoy that creamy delicious of the non-alcoholic version of margaritas, martinis, and daiquiris. So the bottom line of today's video, besides 23 ways to incorporate avocados, is avocados are a staple in a healthy, nutritious, balanced eating lifestyle. They benefit your health in so many ways, and as often as you can incorporate avocados, avocado, incorporate avocado. If you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I would love, love, love to have you here. I do upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you reach your goals. Links and discounts to all of my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!